Hello everybody, I'm Kali, and I would like to give you a brief introduction to the research we're carrying out in education in virtual worlds, here in the School of Health at Glasgow Caledonian University. The virtual world is a simulated environment where users from all over the real world can meet and interact. Most virtual worlds are represented visually by three-dimensional models, through which the user can navigate in real time, as well as seeing and moving together within the same surroundings. Users can interact with each other through typing and speaking. Each user is depicted in the virtual world by their avatar, a customized 3D model that represents themselves. The avatar is often recognizably human and may or may not resemble the user's real-world appearance. Throughout the world, many universities have set up their own virtual campuses to explore the educational possibilities offered by virtual worlds. Glasgow Caledonian University has created its own campus, with a full-size model of our award-winning Salt Tire Centre, as well as recreations of the Glasgow City Chambers and the Glasgow Piping Centre. Within the School of Health we are interested in using virtual environments in a number of projects. In radiography, we are creating an exact copy of an X-ray environment that will allow undergraduate diagnostic imaging students to practice accurate selection of exposure factors for any given patient and body part. This will allow students to gain necessary practical skills in making accurate exposures in a safe way. In nursing or real-life clinical skills laboratory areas are in near constant use by students. So we have recreated these areas in our virtual campus. Virtual worlds are perhaps best suited for developing non-physical skills such as teamwork and decision-making. In one project, nurses worked alongside a nurse lecturer, assessing and prioritizing the care of six virtual patients in a busy ward environment. The six patients each have different needs and requirements, and some are in a more serious condition than others. In another project, we are using specially written artificial intelligence and speech synthesis software to create a patient bot. This is Colin. No, I've never had epilepsy. No, I've never had jaundice. His spoken and written replies to the interviewing student are entirely generated by software. He is used to help qualified nurses to take a diagnostic patient history. The students can then click on Colin's chest in the correct anatomical position, and they hear associated heart sounds which correspond to the history that they have taken. This project is being used with nurse practitioner students, however this technology could be used for a number of healthcare professionals. These are just a few of our many areas of research interest within virtual environments in the new School of Health at Glasgow Caledonian University. As for me, I am off to the beach to study. Maybe we'll meet again, soon, in a virtual world. Bye.